Hi, welcome to Don's Kitab. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can communicate with your MQTT broker in a Node.js runtime. We are building two example practical application here. One is a command line interface or a CLI project that you can run in your shell or your terminal. And the other is an express web application that you can run using your browser. In both this project, I am using my local Mosquito MQTT broker, which communicates with my Node.js runtime. And both my CLI application and my Express web application communicates with my MQTT broker through the MQTT message exchange between the Mosquito and Node.js. In both this project, we are going to be using an NPM package called the MQTT. And all you have to do is to install it using this command, which is npm install MQTT. I have already done this, so I will not be executing this command. Now, let's go over to my first project, which is my CLI project. The complete code that I am showing you here is available in my GitHub repository, which you can find in the description of this video. I have here my subscriber.js and my publisher.js. And in the background is my Mosquito MQTT broker. So I have here two split terminal. The left side is for the publisher and the right side is for the subscriber. Let's just arrange the screen. If I execute the command node subscriber.js, then you would notice that, that this was reflected in my mosquito broker terminal that I have subscribed to a particular topic. Since I have subscribed, then this terminal will wait for any messages coming from my mosquito MQTT broker. In a separate terminal, we are going to publish some messages on the same topic. To do this, I'm going to execute the command node publisher.js. So let's try publishing some message on the same topic. As you can see, I am subscribed to the topic temperature. So in my node publisher.js, I'm going to publish something to the same topic, which is temperature. As you can see, I am sending the topic temperature and the message 32. And if you check out the message from the subscriber terminal, you would see that I have received the message 32 on the topic temperature. Same also with my Mosquito MQTT broker. You have noticed that the publish was successfully received by both the subscriber and the publisher. If we take a look at the code, it is really simple as I just import my MQTT package here and set my and set my connection details here. I have a function called connect to broker that connects to my MQTT mosquito broker. And using this command, which is mqtt.connect. And I have functions here called callback functions that gets called whenever something happened like this message event which basically just logs the topic and messages received from the broker to subscribe from any topic we just need to execute this command and that's it it will wait for any published messages on the same topic if we go over to the publisher.js then it has the same MQTT connect functions and the only difference here is this publish message functions which basically publish a message on a particular topic. That is basically how easy it is to communicate with an MQTT broker using this code and if you just follow these commands here then you can create your own CLI applications that communicates with your own MQTT broker. CLI applications might be a bit boring. So, 
if you wanted to create your own browser-based web application, then you can still leverage the same MQTT NPM package. I have here a Node Express MQTT web application that uses the Express web framework. I will be following the usual node.js and express folder structure where I have routes, controllers, template processing, I'm using AJS here, and a service layer that communicates with our MQTT Mosquito Broker. Again, the complete code is in my GitHub account, and for demo purpose, I'm going to run this project. Let's go back into my Visual Studio to do code and in this command i'm just going to execute npm run and then as you can see it says that i'm now able to listen to the application running in port 3000 so when you run the project I have here the URL for my publisher page and I have here the URL for my subscriber. On the subscriber page, we can subscribe to any topic like temperature, temperature, and we click the subscribe button. You would notice that it says that the status bar here that you are subscribed. If I publish something in on the publisher page, like I click 32 and click publish, then you would notice that it was displayed in the message section of the publisher page. Let's try again. So 28 and then 31. Now if I unsubscribe to the same topic temperature, then I am expecting that I should not be receiving any MQTT message from my publisher. So I click unsubscribe. Now I am unsubscribed. Then I'll send in another message. Notice nothing is happening. Let's try again 40. Okay, nothing is happening. If I click the subscribe button again, I'm subscribed. Then, if I type in a new temperature and I publish, then you would notice that it gets published. Let's try for the last time. Then, you would notice that the publisher is able to send messages into the subscriber through my Mosquito MQTT broker. Both the publisher and the subscriber application is running in my Node.js project. If we take a look at the code, then I have here the usual node.js directory structure where I have here the controllers, the routes, the service layer, and the templating engine using the EJS. If we take a look at the service layer, the MQTT service.js, it contains our it contains our code that will connect to our MQTT broker which is almost similar to what we have discussed in the CLI application. The service layer is used by the controller layer here. The controller layer in turn returns our EJS template, like this one, which is our HTML pages, like here, and for the subscriber. So, the routes, on the other hand, like this one, handles our browser request. If it is a GET or a POST request, then it asks the controller to handle the request. The return of the controller could either be an HTML or a JSON data. All of these components are tied up by our app.js file server which sets up the static files to serve our static assets and set that view engine to EJS. And we have here the parsing of the request 
and several routes that we have created also. And you can see here that it is using the subscribe router and the publish router and it runs and listen to the port 3000. That is all for the code actually and on how you could leverage MQTT in a Node.js environment. The companion write-up of this video contains much detailed explanation of this project. The write-up and the code can be found in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!